my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright guys, so let's step into Photoshop and then Control N. Now I'm designing this as a WhatsApp status and so I'm going to use a very peculiar dimension for iPhones. I'm going to use 12, 4, 2, and then I'm going to use 22, 0, 8. It's not the usual dimensions that I use. And then I'm going to use the resolution 300. I'm going to leave it at pixels here. I also leave it at pixels here, RGB, black. And then here, I'm just going to call it WhatsApp Day Toss B Day. Something like this. And then I click on create. Now, as usual, the first thing we do is to work on our background. And so on the background, I'll start with a solid color. I'll pick a solid color and then I'll type in this particular code 19000A. And I'll click on OK. And then I will bring in the balloon, drag it in there, then drag it somewhere here. I like to increase it quite a bit and then drag it up still. If possible even increase it quite some more and drag it up we don't want everything to show now let's bring in our lines drag it in the middle here make sure you get the middle once the line is there you also want to start with this particular image drag it in there as well and then let's resize it until it occupies the entire screen drag this side here you want a side that will glow and I, I believe this cloud over here and this cloud over here has some glow in it and so let's drag it here even perhaps even this over here is also a sunshine as well so it might uh, reflection of the sun it might also glow as well now with this particular one this photo let's drag it down like this and then let's set it to color dodge all right so you can see it in there that is very nice now i want us to blur it just a little bit I want us to reduce it great let's leave it somewhere at four and then let's click on ok now let's put everything in a folder now remember you can always come back again to blur it you can click here and then double click on the blur it to show and give it more value okay now let's click over here click over here let's put it in the folder and then let's call it bg amazing now let's bring our model in there as well but before we do that let's start with a circle and then click on the ellipse to hold shift and then drag it now click on the move to and then drag it somewhere here all right now click on you or go here and click on the ellipse tool again and then set here to this and then over here at the fill set it to white duplicate it the one on top i want you to go here to the fill and then click over here now go to the stroke and then pick this particular color ffc 22 um d and then click on okay now go here and set it to line this line also go here to the stroke size let's use 15 click on enter so you can see the stroke in there i want you to click on the move tool and click over here on the ellipse come and pick your model drag it in the and then just resize it shift and then alt and then drag the image somewhere like this right click here and then create clipping mask now it's in there you also want the image to be in the middle of the circle all right so now this looks quite great we can put everything also in a folder and then let's call it more deal. all right so now let's also pick our ellipse tool again and then hold shift and then draw a very or create a very big circle like this awesome now we can see it has no stroke let's also go here and let's give it absolute no stroke and then no fill as well and then um click on your move tool and then move it somewhere here let's move it somewhere here could even increase it the more to something like this 
looks great now as i said ctrl t for us to see it well all right now let's go to the ellipse tool and then click over here so you can see it has no fill it has no stroke and this is perfect for the effect i want to create double click here and then i want us to go to drop shadow and then let's set here to multiply set here to black set the opacity to 76 the angle set it to 14 awesome the distance i want you to set it to 22 and then the spread to zero and then the size to 133 also leave the contour like this and then the, the noise set it to zero and that's all just click on ok okay so now let's click it. you can see the effect over there very mild subtle but very effective to do whatever i wanted to do duplicate it and then drag it down again just drag it like that and that is it now let's start with our details so you want to click somewhere here and then let's pick um happy birthday and then let's type the now let's drag it down somewhere here open your character and then we are going to look for questario <laughs> i don't know what i got it right questario yeah that's it questario also make sure this is off great now let's set the font size to 58 awesome and then the leading let's set the leading to 58.1 nine that's also great let's set the color to color white we want to see it quite clearly and then the tracking let's set it to zero like that and then that is it so let's see how it looks like drag it all right uh, we'll probably send the model up a little bit so we can get more space and then let's drag uh, both this and then this let's drag it up a little bit as well and then let's drag happy birthday also up a little bit great and we have quite some space down here um also let's put the happy birthday in a folder and let's call it details now click over there and then let's type here as well and then let's pick um everything all the way to here then let's paste it there now with this one we are going to use real way for it and then let's set here to light also let's set the font to the font size 12 and then the leading let's set the leading to 11.92 great the tracking let's set it to zero the color let's use this particular color f f c 2 2 d click on ok and then let's place it in the middle of it ok somewhere here will be great let's double click it and then let's give it a um, stroke let's set a stroke to one click over here let's set it to black click ok let's see the effect absolutely let's also click on drop shadow and then let's set it to 100 percent let's bring the distance down a little bit the size let's also bring it down a little bit to around 16 let's boost the spread to around 10 and let's see well it works great i'm doing this because of the s over here if we don't do that is going to hide over there and then the person will not be able to see it clearly so i gave it those two effects so that we can see the s as well now click over here and click on w now go over here and then look for stay high swash i'm going to leave it in the description for you and then just um, resize it and then bring it somewhere here Let's make it quite smaller. Let's change it to color white. Nice. Also, 
um one more thing let's pick this let's pick the rectangular too let's draw a very sharp thin rectangle very thin one all right let's set the stroke to this no stroke and let's set the color to color white that's the color of the fill and then let's make sure it is middle aligned it falls in the center of it and drag it up great now let's put the last two details here let's pick uh, miss sally ajua and that's the name of the person supposed name of the person go to your character and we are going to use back to black demo let's set it to regular here the font size we are going to use 12 as well and then we are also going to use color white let's set here to minus one zero and then let's also make sure it is center aligned or middle aligned duplicate it and bring it down let's send the font to impact and then let's bring in the last detail double click it and then paste it there now we are also setting it to regular the size we are going to use a much bigger size we are going to use 28 and then we are going to set it to the tracking to minus 10 as well we're also going to make everything capital letters we're going to set it to color white and that is it let's bring it down click over here on it and let's bring it down okay so that is it it's too close to the edge and so there's only one thing that i think we can do and that is to push this up a little bit let's go back to the model let's push the model up slightly a little bit and then let's have more space to send the rest of the details up as well great now i feel like there's uh, much space down here and this is great now let's um, give it a new layer pick your brush let's come here let's choose this particular color code ff 003 e click on okay make sure caps log is off and so you click over here just like that now let's go and let's set it to color dodge that's so wonderful and then let's try and then click on your move tool and then let's drag it in here like this as well all right so guys if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well i love you guys please see you in the next tutorial peace